Hey, this is David over at Slappy Studios, and um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial. I don't know how quick it's going to be, but this one I'm going to do. I've been doing After Effects for a long time, so I shot this in my studio. That's me. Yeah. Okay, I shot this um, at my studio. I shot it with the HXV 200, the Panasonic P2 cards. <clears throat> Dumped it in a final cut. And um, so why I was doing this, I'll tell you. Now, all the time in After Effects, if we, I always use the track mat. And the track mat, that's the original footage. So what the track mat does in After Effects, it punches out so you get a clean, very clean look. And then... I haven't really played with it much, but I just threw this truck I modeled in my uh, in the back just so you could see. So basically, on this I use an alpha. So what it does, it punches it out. You get it, and um, I lit it up with halogen lights. And uh, what more can I tell you about this? I'll have the project files in there for you guys if you guys want to try this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it in Nuke. So I wanted to do the same exact thing in Nuke. So here's my tree. <coughs> So, same background as the truck, me duplicated on the green screen. So, I will take you through it, and um, so here it goes. So, <coughs> read node, projects, green screen test. While it's loading up, there it is. Okay, so I, I reduced this down to 1280 by 720. So hit your S button, set it. Um, twelve eighty by seven twenty. Okay. So what I did on the first one is a um, I added a now I did this in a in nuke because I added a color correction and why did I do that? It just helps out a little bit. So on the color correction is I just back this up a little bit and bring in the color wheel pull away from the green um so right about there. Now to the color correction, use key light. Color correction, key light. Grab the color picker, hold down control. and then tune it up. So what I did over here go to screen map and 
So you bring your blacks about midway. And I always go to combine mat. So you can see kind of everything's real clean. And then put a little screen pre blur on it. Just a little bit. Now we're going to duplicate this again. Oh, I mean, just control C, click off it, control V. So up here, I like, like I said, I like to go from left to right, like I was in After Effects. So in here, I would put a shuffle copy. Pipe in number two. And after that, pre-mold. That's going the wrong way. And on the shuffle copy, it's going to grab the alpha. I'm going to plug this into there, into your key light. And then, so you want to click on on your shuffle copy, just pick blue. It doesn't really matter. And then, after the pre molt, you're going to do a merge. A, and then um, So you get a real nice clean, clean cutout. And you can bring up the um, just put a little blur on that. Like right around 5.2. So it takes out all the green and then you can now you can composite what you want on the background. So I chose, let's see, what did I choose here? I had a car. Um, I'll put this car in there as well. So in the car, I put a blur. Blur into the merge. Just add a smidge blur right there. Just give it some depth. Nice 12 right there would be fine. Just give it a little depth. So that. is how I got to the track mat in After Effects. So I wanted to do it here in Nuke for you. Um, let's see what else can I tell you about this. You see it's seeing that last one so after that if you want to put a reformat there it goes for some reason nuke sees the very bottom one coming out of the B into there so you just got to kind of hit it back up into a reformat you got your blur reformat 
So if you guys want to try this, I'm going to put the project files in there. I'll put me and the car. Really not much there, so. But try it out. Look again, once again, so I just shot this at my studio. You can see the lights in the eyes there. Wah, wah, wah. All right, so um, I don't know. Give it a try. Tell me what you guys think. And um, that's how I did the uh, truck mat in After Effects to nuke. So here I didn't I didn't key out any uh, I didn't uh, do any color correction on the green, but you know I just wanted to show you. But that's how you do the color correction in uh, nuke. You put that little color correction on it. And once again, you just kind of back off the uh, offset and um, just go, go to the color wheel. And you'll see, just away from the green. Just pull away from the green. It gives you a real nice, clean... Yeah, I could play with it a little bit more, but you know, I just want to show you guys the basics of that um, whole... Uh, how the tree looks, how to get that track mat in After Effects. And um, all right, you guys, check it on out and let me know how it all works out there for you. Late.